all right thank you for checking out my video today what we're looking at is how to write the explicit formula for a sequence okay so we talked about sequences before we talked about arithmetic and geometric sequences and what we're going to do today is write the explicit formula for those so let's take a look here are the two formulas you've got uh, arithmetic and geometric okay and it's got all these fancy little letters in there you're like oh my god what is that but one of the letters you already know and that is the common difference and the common ratio okay so in order to write the explicit formula for each of these you need one or two you need two things one the common difference or ratio depending on whether you have an arithmetic or geometric sequence and the second thing you need the first term this ace of one represents the first term in both of these okay so let's take a look at an example so I can break down exactly what that means okay so let's take a look alright here we got a problem and it says write the explicit formula for a sub n uh, the nth term of the sequence so they give us some numbers here 1 negative 9 and negative 19 okay now it doesn't tell you which formula to use I put this in here you gotta figure that out well in order to know whether it's a rhythmic sequence or geometric sequence what you have to do is figure out does it have a common difference or a common ratio so first thing you'll do is check to see if it has a common difference and how do you do that well you subtract the second from the first and then the third from the second so we'll do negative 9 minus 1 okay same sign find the sum negative 9 minus 1 is going to equal negative 10 okay now we're going to do the next set so we did we did this and we subtracted it from this number here now we're going to take the negative 19 and subtract that number from it so we're going to have negative 19 minus a negative 9 make sure you get your signs right or just type in the calculator okay all right state change change we're gonna make this positive now we got different signs find the difference the difference between 19 and 9 is 10 and the 19 is bigger so we're gonna make the 10 negative okay so since both of these are the same number then it has a common difference and if it has a common difference we're going to use the arithmetic sequence so like I said before you just need two things in order to write this you need the common difference which we just got and you need the first term of the sequence which is right here so let's do that so I'm going to write this out So we got a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the common difference times n minus 1. Every time you write this out, you won't need to change these parts at all. Only thing we need to do is put the common difference, which is negative 10, and just put it in parentheses, and the first term, which is 1. And you write this and that is your answer so that is writing the arithmetic sequence in the explicit formula for this particular sequence alright let's take a look at another example okay you can pause the video here and try this one on your own but if you still don't get it just let the video play and see if you can figure it out okay so alright so I need two things I need the common difference and I need the first term but first I need to figure out if it's going to be the rhythmic sequence or not so I've got 20 let's write write the numbers out again like I did on the last one now, uh, 18 20 and 22 so I'm gonna do 20 minus 18 I get 2 
and I get 22 minus 20 and I get 2 and you can probably see it's going up by 2 you know it's the common difference but the common difference is 2 the first term is 18 those are the only two things I need I just write those in so I got a sub n the first term 18 plus the 2 for the common difference and like I said, just put it in parentheses, times n minus 1. And the reason I say put it in parentheses, because that's going to make it easier, especially when I explain the geometric. But whatever number you get here, whether it's positive, negative, whatever, put the whole thing in parentheses and put it right this. Put it just like that, and it'll work. And this is writing the explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence. Now we're going to do some geometric. Alright, so I already know it's geometric, but when you get it, you may not know. You can kind of take a look and see, like, oh, that's not, it's going down, but it's, it's not going down by the same amount. You could probably think, see this probably going to be geometric, but if you can't, just go ahead and subtract. So we're going to do that. We're going to subtract negative 10 from negative 20 or positive 20 okay same sign find the sum you get negative 30 all right now we're going to do 5 minus a negative 10 state change change all right 5 plus 10 is 15 okay it's not the same All right, so it's not an arithmetic sequence. We're going to see if it's a geometric sequence. Well, you do that by dividing. Same numbers, but instead of subtracting, we divide. So we say negative 10 divided by positive 20. Okay, now, there's two ways to look at this. Um, you can simplify the fraction, which will get you negative 1 over 2. Or you can type in the calculator, which will get you... Uh, negative hang on just a second okay so all right so we got negative 10 over 20 is equal to negative 1 over 2 which is also equal to negative 0.5 all right sometimes you get a repeating decimal if you get a repeating decimal, you have to use the simplified fraction. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the next part. 5 divided by negative 10. And what do I get? Uh, that reduces down to negative 1 over 2, which also equals negative 0.5. Okay. So, we're getting the same ratio here. So, we know it's going to be a geometric sequence. Now all we gotta do is just plug it in. And the same thing applies. Instead of, instead of a common difference, you just need the common ratio. But you also need the first term. And the first term here was 20. So we're gonna say a sub n is equal to 20. And put it in parentheses, the ratio, negative 0.5. And then raise it to the n minus 1. And that's it. Now, if it's a, it's okay if you want to go with negative one half in here. It should still work. If it is a repeating decimal, you have to figure out what the fraction is. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. All right, you could pause the video here and see if you could do this one on your own. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Um, you can see, especially when you get big numbers like this, that it's not going up by the same amount. So that's going to be a geometric. So you're going to do negative 48 and divide that by 8. Okay, and that's going to get you negative 6.
then you go do 288 and divide that by negative 48. And that gets you negative 6. So we've got the same ratio. Okay? So we're going to use geometric sequence. I'm going to zoom in here. We're going to put the first term, which is 8. A sub n is equal to A sub, nope, not A sub, 8. Parentheses, my common ratio. And then n minus 1. And that's it. And this is how you write a, a geometric and arithmetic sequence as an explicit formula. I want to thank you for checking out my video. Have a nice day.